I'm your host, Alexander Ali, and welcome to another episode of Real Talk. Today is Tomer Thursday, where we welcome back the king of the Platinum Triangle, Tomer Friedman. But before we get to that, I just want to say that all this week we've been having an amazing partnership with Agent Image where we give you, our Real Talkers, the opportunity to get their exclusive digital listing presentation software first. That's it down there, skinned with Eklund and Gomes. They're one of the first adopters, and like other top agents, you can be a top first adopter. Basically, what it is is a touchless listing presentation. So think of like a digital open house for 2021 that you can send to your clients with all the information, everything in one beautiful digital package skinned with your logo and your image. It's going to revolutionize the industry, and our real talkers are gonna get it first. How? You just comment, Agent Image in the comment section, and my magical elves who are listening slash producers will send you, DM you the information and add you to the list to be first to get this software from Agent Image. So go ahead, you guys, comment Agent Image below and you'll be added to the list for Access, the first ever digital listing presentation and touchless open house that's going to change the real estate industry. And that'll be launching at the end of January. So you wanna go ahead and comment Agent Image to be put on our exclusive first look list. Agent Image has done websites for all the top agents, including the Altman Brothers, um, God, Aaron Kerman, the Oppenheim Group, so also, if you're looking for a reskin of your own website or some marketing materials for 2021, maybe you just want to refresh your look, we will also send you a discount code for Agent Image. Yes, only you real talkers. So go ahead and comment Agent Image. Thank you, Amir, in the comment section below. And join Noble Saint 77 Margola one and Katri by commenting Agent Image below, and you'll get that information. Friedman. Tomer, how are you? <laughs> happy, <laughs> happy Psycho Thursday. Happy Psycho Thursday. I haven't heard from you. I missed your call last night, so I'm assuming you're, you're closing deals because it's getting to that I'm time. I'm trying. It's chaos out there. But isn't this time of year really busy for you, Tom? Because Always. Because last year you were closing on the 31st. Always. And we're probably going to be closing on the 31st this year. <laughs> and we're going on listing appointments and we're busy 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 the whole team is like we're all like little elves working <laughs> around the clock to Tomer in the house. Out. the guy with the accent says Tomer in the house but we like to say tis the season of Tomer Tomer I know that you are uh you celebrate Hanukkah so we wanted to go over and figure out what were some of your favorite Hanukkah traditions that you have with your family some of my favorite Hanukkah traditions are when agents remove contingencies on time. <laughs> when, when my deals get funded. Yes. And then when they record. Um, Amazing holiday traditions. Some of, no, some of my, um, some, of my ha some of my really favorite Hanukkah traditions. I've been spending a lot of time, not just because of quarantine, but I've been going to my parents' house virtually every night and having Hanukkah. We actually had a really fun Miami style Hanukkah at Sally Forster Jones's house uh, on Sunday in her yard really? with, because last year we were in Miami twice this year all together mm -hmm, with mm -hmm, Sally mm -hmm. in November and December. So what we actually did was we put on, she put on some amazing music that's like from Miami and we sat outside and it was probably one of the best Hanukkah parties I've been to. And it was literally four of us. So oh, that's so sweet. Well, yeah. you were you uh, were also making headlines this week with the twenty most expensive homes that sold this, this year. year. You claimed spot number eight with this home. Tell us about this sale. So this was an off-market sale. Um, it is uh, an incredible property in Bel Air that we named Sky Garden, and it was about, I believe, eighteen thousand square feet. From what I remember, it sat on an acre of land. The views were just the most outrageous views. Architect is Sheoda, and then of course it's Viewpoint Collection, and they are the developers of the property. It is probably one of the most astounding, gorgeous, sensational properties I've ever had the honor of representing. And then obviously we ended up transacting it before it was even done. It's just been 
finally completed very recently for the buyers, but we were at about 90% there in completion. And then the buyers ended up wanting to make some adjustments, but we did rank as the eighth highest sale in the United States for the whole year. And it was 60 million. So that's incredible. Did you sell it with renderings or was the house? almost? The house was built. So the house was 90% built. Um, they just made some revisions uh, after they acquired it, but uh, it was fantastic. Truly an amazing deal. Uh, one of the best properties I've had the honor of representing, not just because of the price, just because it was so stunning. The minute you walk up into the house, you walk into the house and you were looking at the whole of Los Angeles, wow. downtown, the new, uh, the new football stadium, ocean, you see everything. And then you see Bel Air Reservoir as well. It's just sensation. That's insane. That is beautiful. Well, it is tis the season of Tomer. Tomer, we're going to play a quick game with the audience where we ask some questions about you and see if they know the answer. Okay. Are you ready? I'm, I probably won't know the answer today, but... <laughs> you know the answer. How tall is Tomer? Everyone can play except for Amir. How tall is Tomer? Comment section, weigh in. If you know Tomer, he towers over everyone. Tomer is his own tower. Can you <laughs> guess how tall Tomer is? And you will win. Uh, we've got a 6-4 from David Jamirna's Realty. Um, I'm going to 6-3, says the Michelle Herschel Group. Good guess, Michelle. Charlie Edgar joined. Uh, don't, give the way, don't give it away yet. A 5-11 from Dory Luxury Homes. Tomer, why don't you stand up for us and do a twirl? Oh my God, I'm not gonna stand up. <laughs> but um, I'm just shy of six four. Yeah, I'm, I'm six three and three four. So just shy, shy of six four. We're gonna give it to David J. Marilla's Realty for six four. Tomer, was it hard growing up and being? Tall? Yes, yes. Because everyone's like, what team are you on? What school do you play for? And I'm like, I don't fucking play basketball, asshole. <laughs> I play tennis, sports. though. I did play tennis. I play. I played tennis for like almost 20 years, like oh, really, awesome. really aggressively, but but not uh, not basketball. That's awesome. All right, well, let's head over to one of your listings now. Amir doesn't even know. Amir got it wrong. Amir doesn't know anything. Moving yeah. on, we are going over to Forest Knoll, your listing that just recently went through, yes. uh, you, you guys reduced the price. We did. So we did a price adjustment to 28.5. It is still, in my opinion, one of the contemporary icons of Los Angeles. It's new construction. It's gorgeous. Standard architecture is the architect. Absolutely sensational. This is another viewpoint collection home. Mm -hmm. The views, if you saw this week, I was up there showing it. Um, yes, you're always ago. showing it. You're doing great. In, insane views and to the point where you're just, it's just jaw dropping views. Plus the architecture is so beautifully so beautiful. executed. So it's very warm. That's, that's, it's, it's built in three pavilions basically, or three, I would say uh, kind of chapels. Yes. And each one houses a different enclave of the house. So you've got the great room. Audience to guess how many square feet Forest Knoll is. And can they guess with these three large pavilions, how much square feet you get for 28.95? Look at that. Insane. Audience, can you guess the square footage? How many bedrooms, how many bathrooms is it, Tomer? Uh, so we've actually got six bedrooms. You've got six baths, three powder rooms on the main level, which I love because for entertaining, no one ever has to wait. And then in addition to that, we are uh, just over 11,000 square feet. It's a big house. Ooh, he revealed the answer, people. It's 11,184 square feet. Uh, yeah. I love that property. It's literally one of my favorites. And like I said, it's iconic, even though it's brand new. You can point to the hills and say- 11,184. 11,100. We got, Nicole Reber got close. We'll go ahead and give it to Nicole Reber without going over. Yeah, uh, yeah. There you go, Nicole. Uh, moving on, Tomer, you inspired our Hanukkah Hunk series this week. We've had uh, Josh Flagg on the show. You, you're one of our Hanukkah Hunks. Uh, I love it. Well, if Josh was on the show, then I don't, then I feel hunky right now. So it's <laughs> you're very hunky. And that six four, who, 
Who could argue? Uh, what has been your, your best Hanukkah gift you've ever received? And don't that's give a, me, I want something materialistic. That's a great, materialistic or non-materialistic? Materialistic, like I was a kid and I got a Game Boy. You know, we don't give so many gifts on Hanukkah, but I've got, I've got some, it's, Christmas is more about gift giving, Hanukkah has become gift giving, but I got, um, I'm gonna say Hanukkah slash Christmas, one of my clients that I just recently sold her house, um, and you, it was on your show, um, she got me the most outrageous candle that is like the size of, I don't know what, like a, a you know small I love a candle. You blender. Know it's candle. sensational, and I light it, and it's a baobab candle, and I'm obsessed with it. It's, it's, it's massive. I, I don't, it's probably one of the biggest ones they have. And, <laughs> I love it. And I got it last year. And then she just sent me some really fantastic wine, which I think we all should have together. Ooh, yes. Let's do that. And let's yeah. head over to your other listing uh, where we're going to guess how many square feet. It's Rising Glen, 1731 Rising Glen, four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. My favorite. My so absolute gorgeous. favorite. Gorgeous. Take us inside, Tomer. And audience, you're going to guess the square feet. So four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. Go ahead, Tomer. So this is this is an Oslo design. It's on Upper Rising Glen, super chic area. Um, probably one of the most beautifully finished homes and most open floor plan, open concept mm -hmm. floor plan. Um, as you can see, it's, it's just like this beautiful glass box, but it has so much warmth. So the floor is, at, is pressured concrete. You've got matte black oak throughout the bedrooms. Mm -hmm. The scale of the ceiling is unbelievable. It's, it's a single story. It's 13 foot ceilings in the entry. That olive tree is about 250 years old. And um, from Portland, or no, from <laughs> Oregon. From Oregon, I think it could be from Oregon. Yeah, they imported it. It's 200 plus years old, which is stunning. It anchors the house in the middle in an atrium. And then if you look at all the stonework and then the scale and how beautifully refined it is. it is it really is an exercise in refinement this house so many houses so beautiful. are beautiful kind of over the top this has this beautiful simplicity to it mm -hmm. and just the most gorgeous natural light ever i mean you can come in you don't need to turn on the lights up until sunset you don't even need to turn on the lights it's just beautiful um so do you know the answer and we just got a show request for rising glenn you did in yesterday. the comment section? No, as I, Rainy and I just got a strong request texted to us as I'm just talking about writing. Oh, I love it. Okay, great. Uh, well, I was there a few nights ago and it was gorgeous. I just feel like you have to buy this house with all the furniture. And it is all stone land. So, so the stonework is all stone land. It is exquisite, exquisite. And Amir just mentioned that. So truly, truly exquisite. All the finishes are exquisite. And it is Oslo, LA. Mm -hmm. It's the duo that this is a design build. So they actually built the house and designed it. And then you and I, especially you, we got it into Architectural Digest and we were so proud and impressed. And it so was proud a of beautiful them. feature. Yeah. And they deserve it too. Um, all right. So can you guess, can you reveal how many square feet it is, Tomer, for us? Do you know off the top of your head? I know, but does anyone else know? Well, in the comment section, we're getting, we, we, don't, we don't count Amir as a real contestant. So we've got a 9,700 square feet, a 55 from Maltenu, Maltenu, and around 6,000 from the guy with the accent. They're all close. It's 5,764. We're going to give it to Andrew Vanley, who got it right on the dot, 5,764. Um, that's incredible. Tomer, what, uh, let's talk about 2021. It's been a crazy 2020, although you had a very prosperous year, very blessed. What is your intention for uh, 2021? We're asking everyone to just give us a one word intention. Evolution. I think it's, I think. Oh, oh. Evolution, I evolution. I, I want to evolve and it's all about evolution and moving forward. And I think one of the best things we can all do is evolve. We can hone our craft. We can refine the way we you know treat our friends and family and and just evolve into something better where you have to take the lessons that you learn and um and go from there and kind of evolve and refine yourself and improve yourself so i think evolution is is it at work in personal life at home with family all of it 
one big evolution. As long as we're evolving, it's good. If we're not, then we're stagnant. I love that. I love that. Real tips from Tomer, everyone. If you're just joining us, you're watching Real Talk, and this is Tomer Thursday. This week, we partnered with Agent Image, who is offering our Real Talkers exclusive first access to this digital listing presentation software. Tomer, how do you do your, your listing presentations? So I'm very old school. So first of all, yes, we do use an iPad, or we used to use an iPad. Um, you know, I'm old school, and I make Melanie psychotic with this, but I love books. <laughs> I love Netflix. presenting a book. I love, I'm a dinosaur. I love handing someone a really beautiful, elegant book and Mel puts those together for us. But, but we do obviously use, utilize PDFs and then we do use, um, you know, iPad presentations, which I think are so fun and sexy and hip, but right. I like a leave behind and I like to leave them a little gift, which is the book. I think it's an important thing. I love that. Well, if you're not old school like Tomer and you want to uh, look at digital listing presentations in Tesla's open houses, comment agent image in the comment section and we will send you an exclusive invite. Tomer, as we end the show, agent, because you've got a lot of phone calls coming through, so you, you probably need to get those. I want to get your agent tips for 2021. What's your advice? for agents who may be struggling or want to evolve in January, really want to hit it hard, what's one piece of advice you can give? You have to work hard. You've got to get up. You've got to hit the pavement. You've got to be on text today. I was, I got my first text about a soccer field. Is there a soccer field in the community at 6, 10 a.m.? <laughs> you're all, um, this is going to be one for the records, by the you way. For you. You're going to, you're going to die when check. you hear about this, you're going to okay. freak. But, um, but um, I think really work hard. It is not, people see real estate as glamorous. The homes we represent are glamorous. Maybe our clients are glamorous. Our transactions are not. So you have to live in a reality where we get, first of all, always be appreciative of what you have and say thank you because we're so blessed to be able to still work at this time. Right, and be busy at this time. Be busy and not, not complain about it. But that said, you have to go out and be bold. You have to be bold and go after it. Not by stepping on other people, not by pushing other people or elbowing, but be bold. You want something, work at it, work at it and refine it. And never ever come to a transaction or to a listing or to showing to a client where you know better, you're there to learn. You're there to offer your previous knowledge, but you're always there to learn. So. I learn from every transaction. I learn from every agent I work with. I just keep learning. And I think that's important while, while working my friggin', my friggin' ass off. You work so hard, Tomer. You work harder than anyone I know. I can call you any day and you're like, I'm at a showing. And it's, 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 it's a holiday. I'm at a showing. But I love that about you. And um, I know that you've got some big stuff happening in the first- In Amir's 4 a.m. texts, which are- <laughs> Yeah, Amir's 4 a.m. texts. You've got big things coming in January that we're so excited to see you launch. We do. So we have a few things in Truesdale coming up. So first of all, we have two really notable architects coming up in Truesdale, uh, January, February, probably. Um, one of them is a Noah Walker design and another one is Woods and Dingare. And we're super excited for those on Carla. Um, and then I have two large ones coming up in Truesdale that are probably going to be in the 60 to 80 million, 88 million. And, um, you know, that's insane. Have, and then, that's as you insane. know, we've got some really big and exciting relaunches of some of the most important properties in LA coming for, you know, I think first week in January, actually, which you're yeah. working on with Mel and uh, Morgan and Megan and Ed. So Mel and, Omer, and Drew and, and Tyrone and Sally and I, yeah. So everyone's on that. Everyone's going to push real hard. I have to congratulate you again on one of the 20 most expensive home sales sold this year. I think your year, if I could sum it up in one word, would be expansion. You've become the king of the platinum triangle, and we love having you on the show. Thank you, Tomer, for giving us your time, and thank you, everyone, for watching. Love you, guys. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye, Tomer. Bye, guys. Bye. Go close some deals. <laughs> That's Tomer Friedman, the king of the Platinum Triangle. I want to thank him for being a part of the Society family and giving us his insights every week. But also thank to, thanks to you 
for watching and supporting Real Talk, the show, um, the people who tune in every day. Be sure to comment Agent Image below. They are our partner for this week, and we're going to help you make more money in 2021 by giving you access to this digital listing presentation software, this touchless open house that you can employ to get more listings in the new year. Go ahead and comment Agent Image, and thank you once again to the incredible Tomer Friedman and to you for watching and supporting the show. I'm your host, Alexander Ali. Thanks for keeping it real talk. Tomorrow on the show, we've got Dennis Trudeau. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye.